Yeah, yeah. Mate, how are you guys just handling the circumstances with guys being out and trying to just survive this and still play at a high level? Um, just taking care of our, taking care of ourselves off the court. Um, just going home and hydrating and eating and really just being away from people. Hey, if Coach Underwood said after Friday night's game that you hadn't been really practicing a point guard much, and then he was like, "Here, go do it." What do you think maybe you know led to some success for you? Um, I really looked at it as next man up. Um, we were down of our point guards, and he just told me to just go out there and just take care of it. And that's what I try to do. Coach Underwood kind of describes the way you guys played the other night as soft. Is there anything that cut as you what? as soft? Is there anything that would cut you more as a player to kind of call that? Um, just motivation. That's all it is. He didn't say it about you particularly. <laughs> no, nah, it's just a little bit of motivation for us. So what does this team have to do maybe defensively to you know, be at that level where I think you feel like you should be? Um, we just got to stay locked in the whole time. Um, not taking possession off and uh, just keep playing for each other. All my fault. There was a lot of adversity you guys faced last year, but not quite this. With mm -hmm. Injuries and sickness and all that. Um, do you take lessons from the last year or two and apply it to this situation? Um, yeah, but I mean, that's just me. I'm a homebody, anyways. But um, I mean, it's really just next man up. Um, still want to see us fight and come together. When Kofi's giving you that sort of dominant option down low, how does that change things for kind of everybody else up on the court? Oh man, it, that that changes everything for us playing on uh, outside of the perimeter. Um, just being ready and lock in and knock down shots or make the next make the next play. Demonte, as a freshman, Coach Edwards seemed to put a lot of trust in you. He seems to kind of be doing the same thing with Luke Goody right now. What kind of advice have you given him as he's a freshman and kind of growing into his role? Um, just go out, go out there and just be yourself. Um, really, not too much really pressure. Just go out there, just having fun and do the things you love to do. What is it about him that you think has made him successful so far this year? I mean, Luke, Luke's a tough kid. He, he don't back down from nobody. You got good news on Trent not being an ACL. Mm -hmm. What's your conversation been like with him as he's working back and you know, trying to get back on the court? Oh, uh, yeah, he was he was really worried about it. I'm like, bro, like, as long as you're stuck together and you can walk, cut, I mean, you're fine. It's just a little bone bruise. Uh, but, yeah, I told him, like, that's a long process. I mean, we had a whole talk about it, but, I mean, I'm just happy he's back. Hey, Monty, what, do you, what do you know about Notre Dame from the scout? What's some of the keys for you guys? Notre Dame. Um, I mean, they're a great shooting team. Uh, we just gotta lock in and do what we do normally, not giving up threes, and uh, just just playing hard for each other. How's your role change with the trade out and Cabello out? You play more in the perimeter, mm -hmm. handling the ball. I mean, it's fun. Um, just being able to be a guy that can play multiple positions for this team. Just just going out there, really just having fun with it. In a bigger matchup like this, how much do you try to feed off the crowd? Probably a, a bigger turnout just knowing the opponent and Big Ten ACC challenge. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it'll be – this place will be rocking. Uh, I, I love hearing the crowd um, get into it. Um, and really just out there just having fun. Thanks, Mother. Good luck.